Hi gals and guys. I'm starting at the end here. This is the the bobbin case assembly that goes at the end of the, or at the front I guess, of the underneath of the machine. So it's all be, been cleaned and I'm going to start this movie by putting this together and putting it back on the machine. The rest of the movie will show me dismantling this and show you the setup I use for washing and drying and, degre well, degreasing, washing and drying as required. So we'll show the, the tools for that and the order in which I degrease, wash, rinse and dry. And there's also a little bit on lubricating. So I'll get started right now putting this back together and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for viewing. So what I'm looking at, and what I want to point out to you, is that there's a curve there. And I think that curve is a break. I think that this should extend all the way out, and that it should be But, you know, so I'm going to take it out again because I just noticed it when I was practicing putting it back together for this film. So I'm going to put this down and then what I have sitting right here, we're looking at another Singer 1591. And so what I'm going to do is first I got to dust it off and then I'm going to take take this off and then uh, get the same part out of this machine and see how how it differs. Now the thing I want to point out about this machine that we're looking at right now it came from a good home and it has a potted motor like my other 1591 not this one not the one on the right here that I'm working on on the video but I have two others. I have this one that we're looking at and then another one which it's in the back room and I, I couldn't find it right now. I've got it behind a box or something or something on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this one and check and see if the, the hook device looks the same as this one. Obviously before I do that I want to dust this machine off. So that's where we're at ladies and gentlemen and uh, as always thank you for viewing.
it's actually a nice machine. I think I ended up paying 35 bucks for it. It was free on uh, Kijiji, you know. And uh, not in Montreal, somewhere out of town, maybe in eastern Ontario, I forget where. Ottawa, maybe. And uh, as soon as the lady found out, you know, that I had a YouTube channel, and I, I guess she thought I was, you know, making money or something. So I gave her 35 bucks for it, which was a good deal anyway, because I got, like, the case and all the original stuff. So we're going to get this off. Wow, that's really stiff. But it's on there securely, I will say that. Indeed. Let's get this over here again. And I think we're still pretty... pretty lined up. And, you know, it's the same routine as... as we'll see in the other bit of the, the movie. There's a... This thing has to come off. Or no, it doesn't. Maybe I can just take those, that, and that, and get the whole thing off. But first we'll get the bobbin out of there. Cool. So we'll keep this one over here, because I don't want to get it confused with the one over on my right. And then let me get my screwdriver, crack these loose. It's loose but sticky. So that's good. It's been in there for a long time, I guess. That one's less sticky. So what does that tell me? That there may be a bit of varnish on the other one? Maybe it's near something that would get oiled and it was splashed as things were turning. We'll see, we'll be in here in a minute. Geez, where's my light? Huh, I was on the wrong screw, I was on the little top one there. There, that screws out. That one's out. And now this part is out. And yes, indeed, we can see We can see right here that on this one, let me try and get focused here. We can see on this one that it's straight across, as opposed to this one, where on this side it is broken. So I have to order a, a hook for that. So, so this has been cleaned. <laughs> and we're going to take a look at the cleaning operation. But uh, it's, this is turning out to be a real adventure. This machine that I'm working on right now for the last week or two, it was a freebie, and I knew that it had, you know, it had been not maybe out and out mistreated, but it had been used, you know, I mean, it's, it, it didn't come with the potted motor, so the potted motor was, uh, was uh, harvested off it, you know, and um, there's, now that I've got it, I did, I did get the, the horizontal arm shaft to turn, and I can get the needle bar to go up and down, but I don't know if it's one of the eccentric gears or eccentric bearings or whatever, but it can't do a full revolution 
without lagging or hanging a little bit. And so that's one thing. And now that I've found the, the hook um, is broken, uh, you know, I can't imagine how that would actually occur. Not that it matters. But so this is getting really exciting. And I'm going to be moving on with uh, the one that I've been working on. I want to get in behind the hand wheel and uh, do some lubricating work and uh, checking out in there and seeing if we can get the horizontal arm shaft to operate smoothly like this good one on the on the left here which is just out of camera view you can see my hairy hand and arm there so that's what I'm working on now and uh, I'm really excited about this because I'm really getting to know these parts on the 1591 uh, quite well. I, I was pleased that I was able to you know look at that and realize there's a little red flag there that doesn't look right it should be going all the way across. Anyway I hope this is helpful for you folks. So this is a better shot here you can see that this is the complete correct one the perfect one and then over here we can see that it's that it's not correct. That's where the break occurred or where the corner chipped off. So that's a good good shot of, of both of them together. So I have to order that part. It'll be interesting to see how much uh, an original vintage part versus a newly manufactured part is. I'm speculating there will be a bit of a price difference. So that's pretty cool. This is, this is really uh, a cool machine that uh, that I'm working on here. Hello there my friends. Here we're looking at the underside of the Singer 15J that I received uh, and you can see the rust on this area here and in there and there's various rust here but you can see everything's rusty and the machine itself is is frozen. It will not, the horizontal arm shaft will not rotate. <laughs> you know what we're gonna do my friends. We're gonna get to work in here and there, there's the bobbin. That's what that looks like. There's two screws here. Come on, Chub, get on with it. Screw right in there. Cool. That whole big piece just came off. Whoo, isn't that nice? So we're gonna be able to get this really, 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 really clean. We're getting started cleaning this uh, new addition to the to the workshop, the 15J, and uh, in here I have 100% degreaser, it's called crud cutter. In there that's 100% crud cutter, and for, for those of you who aren't familiar with crud cutter, that is crud cutter. And you can see that right here it says non-toxic, biodegradable, concentrated. So what we're going to do is this greasy stuff that can handle being put in crud cutter, 100% crud cutter, is going to go in there and have a little a little bath in there. And why can it handle it? Because there's not a lot of chrome on these. But anything that is like chromed or enameled, you know, these are all chrome. I won't put them in in the crud cutter. So I'm going to get started and we'll just put all these things in there like that. And we're going to let them have a little bath in there, a little soak at the spa, at Deb Adams Spa, and we're going to let that sit for a bit. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get some soap and water, and we're going to put these things in soap and water. And before I put them in anything in soap and water, I'm going to get my hair dryer, which because we don't want to become victims of flash rust, especially on the, the really pretty chrome parts. So that's where we're starting, folks. Yeah, it's been in there for a while. I'll say over half an hour, maybe an hour. But you can see as I stir it that the, the water, there's cloudiness in the water, so it's come off those parts. So the other thing that I have here going on for these parts to swim in, here I have 100% dishwashing liquid and it's about 
I don't know, about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch deep. So some of these parts will go in there. Those will go in there. And then this is soap and water. So it's going to be from here to there, or for those guys that don't go in there, it'll be straight into there, and then everybody's going to go in there, and then everybody's going to go into there, and then everybody's going to get dried off so there's no flash rust. And in the drying process, we use a strainer, and we also use a, an oven mitt. I dirtied this up especially for the grand uh, uh, feature tonight. And, and the oven mitt is so that you can hold the small parts that like the feet or whatever or some of the screws that might get blown away. So that's what I found works best. This is a pretty standard five step cleaning operation. One, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four. So, and anything that has, you know, that's painted or chromed or has baked enamel on it, like these other parts, um, then I don't put them in the crud cutter because you have to be careful with it. I use 100% always. And uh, so you gotta be careful. But anyway, I'm gonna get to work and uh, we'll move along and have some more fun. Where's that screw? So we'll get a little bit of, oh geez, look at the, you can see more, a little bit of rust there. It's dusty. We'll dri dribble some oil on that vertical up right there. Also get some on there and there. So I've loosened it and look at that. And it came off like that. Some on that screw there. I probably, I will take a, a toothbrush to this at some point soon. But for now we're just coating the open areas with oil. The dog screws here. One, two. Okay, I've got this little mini ratchet. We'll see if it fits in there. We'll go in here with this. There. That one's loose. There. It did come loose. Well, that is not fun. Well, I'll, I'll be doggone. There we go. Cool. We are going to finish up soon. We're able to oil clean and replace the hook and bobbin case assembly. We found the broken part. We saw how to remove and replace the hook bobbin assembly. We performed the five step or four step cleaning process again. We were able to unstuck the horizontal arm shaft and needle bar. And I learned a lot and had fun. I want to thank you for viewing. These learning adventures are helpful and fun for me and I hope they are for you as well. In the next film we will take the hand wheel bobbin winder uh, assembly apart and clean our police in there and see if we can get the machine working a little more smoothly. Please take care of yourselves, have fun, and keep safe. Adios amigos.